Good afternoon guys and happy Sunday to all of your sunshiny faces. It is actually like 1.30 right now. Um, we had to go to the grocery stores late because Jack had to, they went to the high school to like record a video like for football. Um, so and they, I guess could only, cause they have practices. So like today was the only day they could do it. <laughs> so um, we had to go later because then my dad had to go and then he had to pick Jack up. So he was gone for part of that. Um, so we weren't able to go until sort of later in the afternoon like I think we left like around 11 30 or something like that um so anyways I'll share with you guys um what we got there wasn't a lot of stuff really going on at um Jewel I did have a couple of little fill-in things that I needed from Aldi we did stop at Menards too so I'll share that with you guys the one thing I did not get, I was telling you guys about how the sugar, the gigantic thing of sugar that they sell at um, Menards, it's much cheaper than what Aldi sells their small little four pack for, or four pound package for. Um, I think it's like a 25 pound package of sugar or whatever, but since I've been doing so much baking right now, um, like I feel like we're going through that kind of quickly. So um, I wanted to get that, but I realized that like we store our flour in one of those food grade safe um, like buckets um with the gamma seal lid um unfortunately um we only bought the one at the time and um we didn't end up we a lot of times to buy sugar in bulk but i have again nowhere to store it if i don't have one of those buckets so luckily um i think we did try to get one at menards like two or three times uh, like last year or something like that and they were like sold out every single time um so today when we went they did have them so we were able to pick those up or you know the the lid and the bucket both uh together we paid about 50 14 tax it was around 16 bucks or something like that so we did pick that up but that's so i can store the sugar so we're going to get that big thing of sugar most likely next week at walmart but i didn't get that i did get which i included in the grocery budget because this is sort of like kitchen stuff a lot of times i do wind up figuring into that but they were only about like eight bucks between the both of them so it wasn't that bad um but i did need more of the um because we only have two, um, what's it called, loaf pans. So I got two more at um, Walmart because like when I've been making zucchini bread, I've had like have to keep rotating, you know, my loaves out because I only have the two. So now I have more that I can do more with. So anyways, um, like I said, I'll share with you guys that what we ended up picking up at the grocery stores. So right here, this was what we ended up picking up from Jewel. We ended up only paying $22.90 with 97 cents in tax, and we ended up saving $25.60. So we did have a 50% uh, you know, over 50% savings, which most of these items, again, I know retailed at pretty much more than 50% of what we paid, except for really the Gatorades. Those are only like, um, well, actually, no, I think they were pretty close because I think they retail at close to like a dollar, um, 50 and they're 77 cents so the deal going on with them this week is that if you buy seven or more products you get them at the um like you know advertised price so i think it's called their lucky seven sale or something like that they really did not have much else good you know like deals going on for that so i just went ahead and picked uh, eight of the power rates up that i got for 77 cents each and then the advertised deals that were going on this week they had the matt's bakery cookies these are 199 each with a limit of two with the just for you coupon so i ended up picking uh, two packages of those up i also ended up getting the home run in personal size pizzas those were 199 also limit of two with the advertised just for you coupon and the nabisco crackers were also on sale for $1.99 a limit of one with the advertised just for you coupon so those were the advertised deals like on the front of the page I was surprised this week they actually had a several of those deals going on and advertised and everything um and then they had the chlorine bleach um that was uh on sale this week for $2.99 and there was a dollar off coupon making it $1.99 which for bleach right now is kind of expensive and on top of that um I looked and a lot of this size bleach is about like three to four dollars like Myers brand is I think on sale this coming they're starting today I guess seven dollars uh seven fifty I think for two which is like three seventy five so I actually thought that was a really good deal for bleach for you know two bucks really right now um and then also to these this Orchard Valley um chickpeas I've tried like these like chip sort of things from Aldi before and I absolutely love them um but this brand at Jewel's on sale this week for two ninety nine 
website and there's a dollar off coupon making them $1.99. Again, that's probably not the best deal on those, but I do know that I really love these when Aldi had them as like a special. Um, so I'm hoping that they're sort of similar to that. It's this deliciously satisfying crunch. It does. They're like sort of like soft almost a little bit. If they're, like I said, these ones are the same ones, but like I said, I loved those. So I think last week I couldn't find them. I realized that they were on the other side of the aisle where we were looking last week. Um, but I think this was the same deal or similar to the same deal I was trying to do last week. But again, since I didn't do the deal, the coupon just ended up, you know, I could do the deal this week. Um, and then lastly, these rowdy energy drinks, they are on sale, I think for $5 for two or like $1.67 each, but there is a dollar and 50 cent off two coupons. So I picked up two and ended up using that coupon, which took them down to 92 cents each, which under a dollar for an energy drink is normally not too bad of a price. My dad, especially with football, has been using these more frequently. Um, so that was actually a pretty good deal on those. So like I said, that was our only 20, you know, 22 bucks that we really ended up spending at Jewel. All the coupons worked and everything. We just went through self-checkout. Um, but like I said, those were really, like I said, probably the best deals that were going on this week. So then this is what we ended up picking up at Walmart. We paid $14.13 after tax. Like I was saying, these, um, the uh, loaf pans, these are $4.18, which again, I think is a pretty good price for loaf pans. Um, so that's why I went ahead and picked up two of those. And then again, two after, you know, <laughs> this zucchini baking season is over, we still have, you know, them to use. Um, and then the other thing I picked up, because I do have a couple of ball canning jars, um, but what I wanted to do was um, I found a recipe for like pickled um, green beans, which I'm kind of interested to try out because we got some, I think I was telling you guys of actual pickles, homemade pickles from um, one of my mom's co-workers. Um, we gave her zucchini bread and she gave us pickles that she had a, an abundance of. So I was sort of interested in trying them out, um, like this uh, green bean pickle recipe. Um, and it's similar to all I really needed because like I said, I have everything else except for the kosher salt. So this was $3.12, which is kind of expensive, but it's huge. And again, we won't go through it really that quickly. And then also to the pickling spice, which sort of has really everything that you sort of need as far as pickling spices go in here like the peppercorns and you know all that kind of stuff that was 194 um and then we have fresh dill from the garden and also too i just got garlic at aldi so I'm gonna try like similar to that recipe of the like, you know, like garlic dill, um, like green beans, like I said, I kinda wanna try it out and see if I like them or not. Um, Cause again, we have tons of green beans growing. So if I try out at least a little bit of them, um, like I said, and we have maybe three or four of those ball canning jars in the pantry right now that are just empty. So that's why I wanted to try those out. So like I said, that was everything we picked up at Walmart. And we ended up going to Menards, but after that we went to Aldi, um, we ended up picking up, I picked up because my mom was asking for a French vanilla K cup, so I got the 12 count of all the Aldi brand, which is three dollars and 79 cents for a 12 count. Also, to the mini bagged avocados for four dollars and 29 cents, which I think have six in them or something like that five to six or something. Um, we should just say instead of me having to count them out, um, I think there's six in here. Um, so anyways, they had them, like I say, set on sale this week, like as part of the advertised, um, you know, like, uh, produce sales that they had going on along with the strawberries, which were on sale for a dollar and 49 or a dollar 69 this week. So I picked up four of those so I can also do those parfaits again this week. And, um, then we picked up bananas. All those, those were not on sale as part of the produce picks. They were 58 cents a pound, picked up a little under four pounds for two eighteen. dollars and then also too, I needed, like I said, the garlic, um, which was a uh, dollar and 69 cents for a three pack. Um, and then we also ended up picking up the 2% milk, which was $2.98. They finally had my hash browns too. I ended up paying uh, at $3.99 for. And then the breads, which was the regular white bread was 99 cents. The sprouted grain bread, um, that was uh, $3.69. And also to one of the other produce picks that they did have advertised this week, although they had none left, was the red seedless grapes, which were 95 cents a pound. Um, 
honestly in our household most people prefer green grapes um which we did get at meyer yesterday so um since we didn't get those it wasn't horrible <laughs> but um you know we got the green ones yesterday thankfully um so like i said though they were completely out of that there so that was everything from aldi and then this was what we ended up picking up at um, menards so it's got this is the gamma seal lid part this is just the you know the um what's it called it's the food grade safe like um bucket um and then the gamma seal lid which is here um and this we have like i said we have this for um the flour that we use so you just stick like this part on here and then you just twist this to open it it actually the dog's food um container that we just got for them um they it has the same type of like gamma seal lid as well um so it's to keep in fresh fre freshness and also keep out any like pests or anything like that as well so like i said i wanted to get a big one of these for the sugar you know so that we can store the sugar and use that again for um you know like buying in bulk so for that like i said we ended up paying 16 bucks after tax but we will get a dollar and 64 cents back from the 11 percent rebate um so that was all we ended up picking up at menards i think i was telling you guys too i was a little disappointed with menards because they have not been having sales on anything they've just been having like the advertised like regular priced items like oh 11 percent off and stuff like that and it's not really making for some good deals like it used to so i'm hoping they don't stick with that for forever i want to say it was like a year somewhat two years ago like close to that they ran it for a very long time but it was mostly like during like the lockdown pandemic sort of shortly after that um and because of that they just had like advertised like oh save 11 percent on everything you buy that's similar to what they're doing now um and then they started the sales back up i think during christmas time because of that they just were like you know oh 11 percent, but they didn't have like any like deals now they're having like the actual ad but not having any sales on the items just having them at regular price and and then saying like oh this is what you get back with the 11 percent so it makes you think that you're getting a good deal on something but again too with the 11 percent back it still is a good price on things like this that probably really don't go on sale all that often um or you know again you're not going to find on sale but like i said they don't have a lot of like those like oh you get this for free or you know it's only 99 cents after the sale and the 11 percent rebate or you know or the separate rebate that makes it free or whatever you know those type of things they have not been having those sales so like I said it might just be like the season and then sort of after that like fall into possibly like christmas time they might bring back some of those regular like sales and deals and all that kind of stuff but as for right now like i was saying they just sort of have it is like oh you just get an 11 percent rebate back on like you know cinder blocks and wood and you know like in and, and these doors that are normally 299 dollars minus the 11 percent rebate but like it's not like they're on sale for that price it's just they're normally that price so um like I said that is a little bit of a bummer right now just because they don't really have anything going on um but like I said sometimes you still come across something where you're like oh with the 11% rebate in addition to that it still makes it cheaper than like Walmart's price or something like that so again to and their clearance items which you still get 11% rebate back on as well so again it does make for some good deals on occasion but like I said too there's some stuff that's like not really you know like that great of deals and they don't have a lot of that stuff too so um anyways I'm gonna get all this stuff put away I thought I'd just share with that with you guys um as far as our grocery haul because like i said there wasn't really too much going on i was surprised jewel did have some better deals but um as of right now too now that i'm sort of realizing like what i how cheap i can get some of this stuff at meyer for i'm like jewel definitely does not have a good price on like you know some of these things that i used to be buying where i was like oh that's a good price i'll go ahead and buy that or whatever i'm like actually no it's not like you know because meyer's prices are only like a little bit more money than walmart's and then on top of that they have coupons and rewards and all this kind of other stuff that you also get back in addition to that and so it's like yeah that kind of stuff compared to like jewels prices which is normally very expensive is like not even in the slightest like close to being like you know some good deals that i used to kind of end up doing just because like there wasn't a lot going on that week or if i was like oh well that still sort of makes it cheaper than aldi it's like yeah but like it's still way cheaper at meyer with coupons but i'm gonna get all this stuff put away now um i don't really know what we're gonna wait 
kind of doing today um because again our schedule of all this kind of stuff has sort of been off but um i do know that i can at least get the um the groceries put away and i can also make those green bean um like i said pickle green beans we'll try those out so like i said i love love pickles so if i can find that sort of in like a green bean sort of like flavor texture like green beans have a little bit of a different taste but they're still not really like super flavorful so i feel like they're sort of bland like a cucumber is anyway which is how you just turn them into pickles so i feel like turning those into pickles would sort of be like you know uh, pickled uh what's it called green beans i think actually would taste kind of good so uh, like i said i think that's all i'm gonna really get to today and try out well guys i'm gonna take a shower now and get to bed i did not end up really getting to yeah too much of anything today i did um make the dinner for tonight we ended up doing brats i had one of my um beyond beef burgers and then we also did corn to go with dinner tonight um so i ended up doing that which wasn't a lot on my part like Jack cleaned the corn my dad did the grilling and I just sort of like I had to pre-cook the brats but um and then I cooked the corn but <laughs> that I didn't do much um so like I said I didn't really get to a whole ton of stuff today um but again I will not lie guys my tailbone is still not not feeling the greatest and um like it's actually not bad though when I'm up and I'm standing up and I'm moving and I'm walking around I actually don't even notice it but today it felt a lot worse like just more like bruised sort of like yesterday in the day that it ended up happening when I ended up bruising it it was like it would like hurt like now it just feels like uncomfortable like it's like bruised and it's like more of like a constant sort of when I am sitting but um yeah like I said it's just it's a pain right now <laughs> so um but Jack starts school tomorrow um he is going going to um oh he only has a half day tomorrow but because my mom works and she actually probably won't be back until maybe when he has to leave for school the thing is is that like if she's running a little late then um he is like he has to walk to school before she would get home so if she's running like a little late um and he's like waiting you know expecting her to be able to take him and she doesn't get home if he starts walking by the time like you know like if she would be like even five to ten minutes late and he started walking when she's like i'm gonna be late you know if she called him or whatever he wouldn't end up making it to school on time so it only makes sense that he walks to school before he knows whether or not she's actually gonna be able to make it home in time to actually take him to school That's how his first day school is gonna have to go he's gonna have to walk but it's not all too weird because like his football practices went the exact same way pretty much and on top of that too they had practices pretty early in the morning like I think they started at like eight o'clock or something like that um like his football summer camp especially too um they were all in the morning so he ended up going and was like you know ended up leaving kind of early in the mornings and so again on Mondays he'd normally have to walk anyway so he's pretty used to it so um again though he does you know he finally starts school but I was actually looking and I saw a post from our like police department that was actually talking about like bus safety um and like you know like what to do when a bus is stopped on the side street and they were like oh you know like the high school starts this week every other school starts next week or like the elementary schools I think because there's a couple of different high schools near the area so they were just like speaking in general terms um of like a couple of the you know handful of different schools in the area that are starting um, because there's like a private high school that's not too far away. I do believe that the private high school is in our town, but um, there's also like two middle schools. I guess maybe the middle school is technically possibly in our town. I don't actually know. Um, the second one, but um, the elementary schools and middle schools, the main ones, um, that are like our town ones for sure. Um, those ones all they don't start until after Labor Day, and I was like, really? Like that seems so super late like I honestly always remember starting school at least it seemed like before Labor Day I don't know so I don't know if they're just starting really late and or why our high school though is starting so much earlier than again all of the rest of the schools like most of them look like they were sort of starting like next week and then there was like I think one other like maybe a different elementary school or something like that that was starting um or a middle school or something like that was starting the following week and then like I said too the elementary schools and middle schools though um that are all in the 
same district. They don't start until, like I said, after Labor Day, which just seems really weird to me, like really late. I don't know if maybe like there's construction, because again, too, if there's construction at like one elementary school, all of them will wind up having to start late. So like I said, I don't know if that is why, but um, it does seem, like I said, sort of weird um, that they're starting so late this year. But um, yeah, again, Jack, Jack's got his first day of school tomorrow. His first day of his last, his first last day actually is tomorrow um, of high school. So um, like I said, it's sort of like a little bittersweet. But then on top of that too, he also has football practice right after that. Um, but he only has a half day um, because all of the upperclassmen and sophomores, um, they get a half day, but the freshmen have a full day. Um, because the, at least the way they used to do it for us was like freshmen always had orientation for the most part for the whole like half day schedule. And then following that, they would end up going to, um, like the uh, other half of the day. Um, when all of the, again, the rest of the students were out of school, um, you know, all of the other grade levels were out of school. The freshmen got to them walk to their classes with out any you know other students in the building so that they were able to just go to their classes and figure out where to get to without again having the entire school packed and it's really hard sometimes to find them or even to to find somebody to help ask you know like to you know get to a class or whatever it is so that's why like again like seniors that probably know the school pretty well don't need so much help in that um but they you know again have that earlier point in the day where they get to walk their classes and the freshmen do it in the afternoon but the freshmen still go in for a full day because they do like an orientation thing i just remember it was a lot of sitting in our gymnasium like and listening to different speakers and people talk and like introductions and all this kind of stuff which just seemed like it was so long and honestly i don't really remember what anybody ended up talking about that day like i remember going to my classes that day but as far as like listening to all of the um like different people talk it was just such a long portion of the day and then like you know I don't know it just seemed I don't want to say pointless but it just was one of those things where they were like oh like be a good student and you know all this kind of stuff and you know introduced all the deans and um you know then they had like I said like a guest speaker and had like a peer tour guide sort of thing um that ended up walking you to like your um not your classes but just generally like this is the lunchroom this is the gym this is you know the auditorium or whatever and they would just sort of take you around to like the big main points of the school and tell you and show you some of the cool things um and so like that's what they did like I remember going and doing that but as far as like sitting in the gym for like most of the day and just listening to people talk all day I, like I said I thought it was pointless and I like don't remember anything of that and I even too don't remember like learning like having them take you on like a walk to be like oh here's our gym and here's like this thing or whatever it was like I don't remember learning how to like get there from like that in fact thinking back on it I always thought that like the rooms like the layout of the school was different because of like them taking me on that tour which is really weird but when I was actually able to learn it myself and like learn where everything was I totally under like got the layout but from like the peer like tour guide person showing me I was like this seems always like really weird like they were like oh the gym's close to this thing and I was like no it's not like once I actually learned that um so like I said I thought that was also kind of pointless just because it didn't help me learn where things actually were especially in relation to like my classes because they just take you in like a whole group and so again I don't know it just seems sort of dumb to me <laughs> so um Anyways, um, yeah, but Jack is, like I said, it's his senior year now, so it's his last, last year of, of high school, which is kind of sad because he's the baby, he's the youngest of the three of us, and now it's his last year of high school, so um yeah he like I said he's got that tomorrow and on Tuesday I have got an all-day sort of errand that I have to run that I'm not totally looking forward to um so it's like an all-day thing and so I'm not super excited about like my entire Tuesday sort of just being like completely wiped like I got no time at all on Tuesday um so but after that there's nothing really I don't think that should be going on. The following week after that I think is 
maybe one of Jack's football games. I don't know if it's the first game or if it's just like the high school like opening game where it's sort of just like at our high school and they just sort of scrimmage against each other. I think that might be what it is but um, like I said this after that on Tuesday I think my schedule is pretty much clear until next Friday um, for the most part at least. You know all of my normal things that I have to do but nothing too out of the ordinary or too anything like that's coming up that's not part of our daily schedule so anyways though i'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's so make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your cinchini faces tomorrow so bye guys